Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a kind of life update, channel update video. Um, I've been kind of MIA since summer and I kind of wanted to explain myself and just kind of talk to you guys. Um, it's really awkward talking to the camera so I thought I'd just fold some laundry um, while I did this. So anyways, welcome to my channel or back to my channel if you are subscribed. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Tara. I am a kind of stay at home mom. I'm also an ER nurse. Um, I work occasionally. I'll kind of go into that later, but um, yeah, so welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I do a lot of cleaning videos, um, mom life kind of videos. So anyways, um, welcome to my channel. So um, I'm gonna try to focus and fold these at the same time. So anyways, um, I stopped filming a little bit there for a while, um, if you noticed. Um, little background story on that, Isabella left the end, end of July, the end of July, like the 31st or something like that. Um, and I always have like a little, I don't know, time of mourning, I should say, like um, after she leaves, and I'm not gonna cry. But um, <clears throat> it just makes me sad and I just, um, I just get real sad. So I didn't really feel like filming, I didn't feel like doing much. Um, Um, on my channel so I just took a little bit of time off and then we were just still really busy um, going back and forth um, to Colorado um, my husband works there and we have been just going back and forth and sometimes Maverick and I go with him um, so anyways um, we are home now um, Doing good. Maverick had a doctor's appointment yesterday for his year checkup. We had his year birthday. We had one here in Oklahoma and one in Colorado just um, to include everybody and um, just celebrate Maverick. So anyways, that's that. Also, we have some pretty big news. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, um, if you don't, you should go and follow me. It's just a uh, T Shattig for Instagram and Tara Shattig on Facebook. But we are having another baby. Um, she is due in March. Yes, we already know the gender. Um, we're so excited. At first, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be that person that just wanted two boys and um, for it to be simple. <laughs> um, but we're getting very used to the fact that she is a girl and we're very excited uh, for that. Um, we got the, um, Harmony test, or it's like the Harmony test, um, it tests for, like, genetic disorders, like the trisomy stuff and downs and stuff like that, um, which was most important, but they also test for the sex of the baby, everything on that was negative, um, thank God, so, yeah, we know it's a girl and we are so, so excited, um, two under two, I'm a little nervous about that. Um, but yeah, it'll be exciting. I'm excited to have two, two kids under two. Um, Work-wise, um, I haven't worked as much as I would like. I always say that, um, and that probably sounds stupid to those of you that have to go to work every day and I'm staying at home with my kid, but um, I do love nursing. But it's just the daycare stuff. Daycare is so expensive and there's a lot to that, but I just try to work. Um, Brian works two weeks on, one week off, so I just work when he's um, when he's home. So, anyways, that's kind of a life update. I'm hoping to get back into things um, here on YouTube. Um, I have loved loved doing this, and um, there's just been some things that I don't know. A lot of pressure people say that on here and you never really get it till you're in it but um, pressure from on myself really and then pressure from from other people and it's just kind of like you know what I just needed a break so anyways I'm back and I'm excited 
to um, do some things on my channel. Some things coming up. Um, I'm trying to declutter my house slowly. So um, stay tuned for those videos. I've filmed one already and I'm, in the next week I will be filming another. Just kind of getting rid of stuff that I don't use or need or I don't really understand why I'm hanging on to that. So that's what I'm doing. Um, Maverick update. He's doing really good. He turned one in September this month. Um, he is walking. He walked. He started walking one day before his first birthday. Um, his dad was hoping he would walk before his first birthday. I don't really care. Um, but yes, he's walking and getting better every day. He did have a little oops already. Just walked off the end of some stairs, which I don't know was sad. But anyways, <laughs> um, what else? He is saying a few words. He is 20 pounds, seven ounces. Um, he hasn't gained much since his last last appointment, but the doctor said that's kind of normal. They just kind of stall out around a year, but he's a very piggy eater. Hopefully that goes away. Um, just likes milk mostly. And we have to transition to whole milk and he had no issues with that. It's funny how things at the time, like throughout his first year, I look back and I'm like, Things at the time looked or were so, seemed so, such a big deal. Like starting him on formula or supplementing with formula. Um, trying to make myself pump every single day. So, it, you know, I stopped at seven months and just making myself crazy over that. And looking back, it's like some of that stuff wasn't that big of a deal. I don't know, like starting whole milk. I was like, what? You did all these other things, like stop wedding the small stuff um but yeah that's an update on him he got shots yesterday he's been really cranky this morning so i put him down for a nap give him some tylenol put him down for a nap and he's doing better with that so hopefully he'll wake up happy um it's starting to look a little bit like fall here. The, the leaves are barely changing, not really. Um, but Brian and I hope to do a little leaves changing trip on his next week off. Hopefully they'll wait. But um, there's like this route that I found on Facebook um, through like um, Eastern Oklahoma, kind of mid Oklahoma and then back up. It takes like nine hours total, but we're hoping to like stay the night somewhere and um, make that a trip. That'll be fun. My mom and I, when I was in Colorado, went to Estes and the leaves weren't really changing. That was, let's see, not last week, but the week before September, I don't know, 18th, I think, if that gives you an idea. I've always wanted to go see the leaves change and with Maverick, we didn't even really get to go like up in the mountains. It was, if we could have like stayed the night or something, it would have been more fun. But we had a good time in Estes. So we did. But um, didn't get to really see any leaves changing. There was a little bit on the way, on the drive up. But anyways, what else? Um... Isabella's good, if you were wondering about her. She's doing good at school. I miss her a ton. Um, I also wanted to say, I'm just so thankful for not having drama. Well, I mean, there's it's not a perfect thing, but um, just having, you know, her mom is just good, great and We've never really had like a ton of drama and it's just been, I just feel like it's been, um, she's the center, she's the priority. I'm just seeing so much right now where it's not, the kids aren't the priority and I just, breaks my heart. It just 
breaks my heart so much. But <clears throat> she's good. She got her license. And what else? What else? Pregnancy wise. Um, I, that is another reason. Oh, I meant to go into that. That is another reason why I didn't film that much because with Maverick, I, and I don't know if this was because I was working, but I, I never, I had like two weeks where I was nauseous and that was it. And this little girl is causing me some stress. Um, the first, um, I don't know. Well, I found out about five weeks that I was pregnant when I was five weeks. And then, she, I don't know if it's in your head or something, it just clicked and I was just nauseous and I never, I'm never, I've never been a huge uh, vomiter. I don't throw up, I like fight it really bad. Um, so I've never vomited ever, but it's just day in and day out where I was just very sick and um, Eating would help, like, you know, they say eat more times a day or whatever, but it would help for, like, I don't know, an hour, and then I was right back. The other part, like, the nausea was, I could handle that. Um, I just took, like, a B6 every day, and that seemed to help a little bit. But, um, I, I was, I've been so tired. Like, I, and I'm not even sure that I didn't get a little bit depressed. <laughs> A little bit because I um, was so tired and I just felt so worthless and I'm finally starting to get out of that um, I'll be I'm almost 15 weeks and I I just was so tired and never wanted to do anything I kind of shut myself in at home and uh, my mom she was retired and has recently gone back to work um, as a teacher but I was so tired. She kind of kept me going, but she was also at school, getting ready for school and all that stuff. So anyways, hopefully that is passing. I feel better, but I still am just, I just drag a lot. So I have to really, that was another reason I didn't film. I just didn't feel good. I didn't feel like getting up. I didn't feel like getting ready, you know? This is honestly one of the first days that I've done my hair and that that's kind of normal for me in the summer. Um, I just don't, I just put it up in a bun and I should have cut it because it gives me more reason to not do it when it's long. I just throw it up in a bun, especially when it's hot. It's like, I don't want to be messing with sweaty hair. I don't know. Like this morning, it was really cool this morning, like 50. Here, which I'm not sure if that's normal for this time of year, but it's, I don't think it is. It's, it's usually like the lowest, like in the 60s, I think, starting in September. Um, and by the way, I'm in kind of, let's see, northeastern Oklahoma. And I would like to do a little video on Oklahoma um, and kind of the area where I live. I tell people, um, here, you know, I moved from Colorado and a lot of people are like, why did you move from Colorado? It's so beautiful. Guys, the whole state is not mountains. Like it's not, I mean, I love Colorado, don't get me wrong. Um, but it's like, you need to go visit maybe. It's not, like a, half of it is like Kansas, which has a beauty in itself. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, Oklahoma is beautiful too, and maybe it's just where I live. Um, I love the green. Like around where I live, there's tons of hills. It's just like really hilly. Um, and then like a lot of trees, green. It's green from like, well, this year it seemed like it was a little bit later, but like April, May, all the way to, you know, almost October. So I don't know. Um, I just love the green. I just love it. So, 
I did move to Oklahoma from Colorado and people in Colorado are like, oh, you know, we tell them come visit. We live, you know, just, just near a lake and, um, you know, we can go over to the lake and on the boat, whatever. And people are like, oh, I don't want to go to Oklahoma. Have you ever been here? Have you been outside? <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know, almost rude sometimes, but, um, yeah, what else? Um, this morning, yeah, it was really chilly, so I put on this thing, and now I'm, like, almost sweating, because I think it's going to be back up in the 80s today. Yesterday was amazing, because it was, like, kind of drizzly, and 67 was the high, I think. It was really nice. Um, but I had the dumbest idea yesterday. Well, Maverick was going to get shots. He got four shots, and then he had to get the lead test. Um, and then I thought I would, you know, go to like Goodwill and Walmart and, um, just do some shopping, like where I never get to go. Um, and yeah, that was a really dumb idea. I'm not really sure why I thought that would work. Cause he was just fussy. Cause he's never been this fussy after shots. He's been really good. And usually I don't plan anything because it's just like go to the doctor, come straight home. But yesterday I had a doctor's appointment in the afternoon and it was like uh he was so fussy we tried we went to one of the goodwills and i was like because eh. i'm looking for some like nursery tables and stuff um like i can redo or whatever but um yeah it was his appointment was at 9 30 we're done there about 10 30. went to goodwill and then all i did was drive around till my appointment at one so it was super fun. I ate in the car, didn't even get to do anything fun. So anyway, it's not his fault, but I shouldn't have planned anything. And I should always just plan his shot appointments on their own so that it's not um, hard on him. He could just come home and rest. But I ended up just driving around while he slept and took a really long nap. Um, but yeah, that's what we've been up to. Um, what else? That's it. I have no plans anytime soon. I am kind of looking into some like part-time daycare so I can go to work a little bit more. Um, but we'll see about that. I think that's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this wasn't boring and I hope it um, was a little bit informative about where I've been. And we are super excited about our little girl. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to see like pregnancy updates or um, any of that. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments and let me know if you're new, um, any video ideas you'd like to see. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I want to do like a Q and a soon, but everyone that's on my Instagram is like people I already know and probably know <laughs> all about me already. So anyways, um, follow me there and what else? Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm hoping to be more consistent. I know I said that before once, only once. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to post like two or three times a week. So anyways, I think I hear Maverick maybe. Oh, no, just plain. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> I just went blank. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you, I forgot to show you, like, a little bump shot. I am almost 15 weeks, and I feel like I'm bigger than I was with Maverick. Maybe I'm just bigger. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. But anyways, um, so let me try and show you a little bump shot. I had to change too, it's getting way too high in here. But um, yeah, there she is. So 15 weeks. And nothing fits me. Nothing really from the front yet. But yeah, I got my maternity stuff out because I feel like I might as well just use it. Cause yeah, anyways. Thank you for watching.